In this video, learn how to do something unique and create typography cutouts here inside of After Effects. What the typography cutout effect allows you to do is to take a title block and impose it onto your subject. So if you want to fill up your subject space and only have titles revealed on that, you can easily do that. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. We have an excellent video here today, so please be sure to drop a like on this video. And if you're ready to get started, let's jump in. All right, I'm gonna be breaking down two specific examples for this type of effect. It just depends on the level of detail and the amount of time that you have to create this. We'll start with this title cutout first as it's very quick and easy to put this together. And then after this, we'll take a look at it if something that's a little bit more detail oriented. So the first thing we have to create is a title text box, something like this that fills up the entire composition. Uh, so we're gonna create some seamless titles to get our first technique going. So here we are in our composition. I already have a title typed out. I'm using the typeface Beat Baz New Ooh and it's a bold font. So once your title's typed out, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab that layer, go to layer, pre-compose. We'll call the seamless title one and click okay. Then we'll double click and go back in the composition and go to composition, composition settings. We'll scrunch down on the width and height until the composition is only the title. So essentially the entire composition is just a title and then go back to your previous comp and then go to effect, stylize and grab motion tile. So I'll increase the output height and you can set it to any number you want, but I'll set it to where we just have a few copies here. Then I'm gonna alt click the stopwatch for tile center and I'm gonna type open bracket time asterisk negative 60 comma space value open bracket one and close bracket. So your expression should look like this and click off it. And this will animate the X value of this title forever. Go to your composition where it says seamless title one and go to edit duplicate. We can then come back to our composition, duplicate what we've already created, and then hold down alt on your keyboard and bring that duplicated title two into the composition and this will automatically replace it. So therefore we can come over here, moves around, and we can double click on our composition and change out the title real quick. And one thing I did is I actually made the title bigger. So this time around, we'll go back to composition, composition settings, and we'll increase the height and bring down the width. So it's the same exact thing. We just wanna close up around our title. Click okay, and then go back to the previous composition. And then we hit R on keyboard for rotation and set this to say 90 degrees. But also I can, once again, I can take this effect, duplicate it, remove the 90 degrees, go back to 0%, and I can increase the output width here. So we can have the bottom filled up and I can come here, duplicate this again, and I can bring the duplicate to the top. And then just continue to just duplicate what we've already created and just fill out the entire composition uh, fairly quick. So we built out this entire title sequence fairly quick. And if you wanna adjust the animation, just hit U twice and maybe remove some of the negative symbols from the compositions here. And this will animate it in the opposite direction. So you can see that some of the titles have changed directions. So since our title block is done, we'll take everything, uh, go to layer, pre-compose, Call it text block one, click OK. Now we can bring this onto our image. So to do this, we have our photo. We'll go ahead and bring this into our composition right underneath the text block. And go ahead and select your photo, toggle switch to the modes until you see the track mat, and set the track mat to your text block. And now our title will take the form of our photo. However, there's a couple of things here. First of all, you might need to scale up your text block just by a little bit by hitting S string keyboard. One thing I want to mention is that this is a really good photo. And in your case, it might not actually look as good because we have so much contrast here. So if I come here and swap in another photo, for example, you'll see that the title's all over the image. So what if we wanna just bound our titles onto someone's face? Well, that's actually very easy to do. We're just gonna go into Photoshop really quick and I'll show you how to do it. Before we move further into the video, we have a sponsor and that's us. If you use After Effects or Premiere Pro, then be sure to check out our Motion Duck extension, which has over 20,000 editable templates for your projects. For example, you can browse, import, and edit templates all from the Motion Duck extension. So you'll be able to save hours of time on every project while producing high quality work. You can also download our free 100 template pack with the links in the description below. And if you purchase anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So our goal here is to cut the background out from our person here. So to do this, we come here to select and you can click on subject. And so this has created a selection and it's not perfect. For example, you know, his jacket is not fully selected, but that's not really what I want to do. I only want to select his face uh, and essentially his skin. So what I'm going to do is go to select and click on uh, select and mask. And if I hover over our image, we have this brush here. Uh, what we can do is hold down alt on our keyboard and we can just start click and dragging around to remove the selection on the areas that we don't want to have selected. 
So I'm kind of just painting here. And if we need to add anything, we just gotta make sure we're not holding on Alt and make sure the plus symbol is up on the brush and we can just kind of brush that in there and just make sure that we are happy with our selection. And when your selection is good, click on OK. Now that our selection is ready, come here to the bottom of your layers panel and you'll see this icon, which is the layer mask icon. Click on it and this will cut your subject out uh, from the background. And when you're done, go to file export and you can do export as a PNG or however you wish to export in Photoshop. All right, so I've imported my cutout here from Photoshop. All I want to do is take our original photo and go ahead and just replace it by holding down alt. And now it's only on our skin. However, we lose the original detail of that photo. So what I'll do is just re-import the original photo into our composition and then grab the photo you just imported, hit T on keyboard for opacity and like lower it down to like maybe 20% or something like that. And now our title effect is only on our skin and it looks really good. So I wanna take a look at our second title example here, which there's a lot more attention to detail to it. You can see that we have a lot of different individual titles here animating all differently. And I wanna show you how you can create something that's gonna be unique. So to create this, you have to create this random title block of a bunch of different titles. Uh, I've created 67 layers in total here. Uh, and there's just a bunch of random words. I've duplicated the same words several times, uh, but there's currently no animation applied to any of them. So go ahead and type out an entire word block. It might take about 10, 15 minutes just to do something like this, but you definitely will get a unique look if you create something like this. And you can quickly animate all this very easily. So for example, if you go to effects and presets, just go to window effects and presets, and you open up the animation presets, you go to text uh, and we go to organic. There's a handful of animation presets that we can apply to our text, but there's only about five of them that I would use. So one of the five is fish bait and all I need to do is click and drag it to one of the titles. And by zooming in, you'll see that this will animate the title fairly quick uh, with just by dragging and dropping a preset. So then we can just choose some of these titles here and continue to apply some presets. So I'll add Quiver, which is two of the five that I would apply. And some of the other ones are Shuffle, Simmer, and my favorite preset of all time, which is Wheatfield. Just go through these titles and apply those presets that I just showcased quickly to all your random titles that you've put together. And what's cool about these presets is that they'll animate on forever. So there's no keyframes involved. Uh, and it will always animate. So, you know, and then we can just import our text block here and then subtract matte uh, to that text block. And then there it is. So this is how you can add a nice typography effect to photos here inside of After Effects. If you want to add this to video, uh, I would highly suggest taking a look at the Roto Brush tool, look up a tutorial on how to use the Roto Brush tool where you can cut your subject out uh, from the background and you can easily apply uh, the same sort of concept uh, to your videos as well. So if you're new to our YouTube channel, Sunlight Film, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple After Effects videos every single week and always be creating.